Hey guys, Kuz Mahara back with another video in this video today. I'm going to explain the fastest way to get better at drawing. This process is what helped me get better at drawing and I'm hoping sharing it will, you know, help some of you guys out there. In any case, let's jump into it. The four points to my process on how to get better at drawing are perspective, shapes and perspective, mindful practice, and the art of copying. All these points in their own sort of way come around to the idea of learning by deconstructing practice then reconstructing and uh, that's one of the most efficient ways to actually learn is when you deconstruct something and then practice it piece by piece and then reconstruct what you've learned to kind of try to bring it to a whole piece this way whatever you're learning doesn't become overwhelming trying to jump into everything at once and you're practicing simpler parts one at a time and then putting it all together at the end essentially one of the fastest ways to learn something and with the four points that i mentioned for art perspective shapes and perspective mindful practice and the art of copying be able to implement these art points into the deconstruct practice reconstruct form of learning so let's start breaking down these points that i mentioned perspective and perspective is one of the most important things it may sound boring but the truth is perspective is the foundation to everything in 2D art. It's what allows us to create the illusion of depth on a 2D canvas. Thinking of it like a building, perspective is a base. Perspective is the base to all art. So if you learn the base really well, you're going to have a very good foundation to learn and understand everything else that you're going into. Just like the building, if it has a bad foundation, you may have to go back and fix some things later on. And believe it or not, you can accidentally memorize incorrect ways to draw things. And this is actually what happened to me in my personal experience. I did not practice perspective as my base enough, and I learned how to draw specific things incorrectly. And I had to go back and it took me a long time to really fix everything that I had done to myself. Perspective is one of the things that I really wish I had learned earlier on because it would have helped me avoid so many mistakes that I had made before. You're going to want to learn one, two, and three point perspective. Now the second point is shapes and perspective, which actually is kind of linked with the first one. You can understand the rules of perspective, but to truly understand perspective, you will have to learn how to draw shapes in perspective, such as squares, rectangles, ellipses, triangles, and all sorts of other shapes. And in my opinion, this is where it gets really fun to talk about. Because if you can learn how to draw simplified shapes in one, two, and three point perspective, you're on the right track to being able to draw essentially anything. Some of you may be thinking, come on man, that, that's crazy, anything? But when you really look at everything around you, what is everything around you but just a more complicated version of a simple shape? Just like those 3D grid shapes you may have seen on 3D art pieces, Everything can be looked at as a more complicated version of a simple shape. You look at it through the eyes of that learning base of deconstruct, practice, then reconstruct. You learning these simpler shapes in all these perspectives is essentially giving you the base to learn how to break down and draw these more complicated shapes. Essentially, you're just deconstructing these more complicated shapes into something that's easier to learn. And that's also the base to be able to make you remember how to draw the more complicated shape that you formed from that simple shape. Now let's start moving on to the next point. And just like the first two previous points, perspective and shapes in perspective, how they kind of run parallel to each other and they kind of need each other to work well, these next two points kind of exist in the same sort of way. So without further ado, the next point is mindful practice. You can also think of it as focus practice, but I like to say mindful practice because it's being conscious of what you're trying to practice. I don't know about you, but there's been many times that I've been sitting there practicing and I don't know exactly what I'm practicing. I know I'm practicing ahead, but I don't know if I'm trying to make it better each time or consciously trying to find the mistakes I'm making and trying to fix them. Or even if you may be looking for the mistakes, you end up finding yourself drawing the same lines over and over again and making the same mistake over and over again. 
which means we need to be more mindful of exactly what we're doing and exactly what we're trying to practice. These specific times when we're practicing, we want to be mindful of exactly what we're having a hard time with and possibly take a step back and try to break down each little part that we're actually having a hard time with. For example, if you're having a hard time with symmetry and having the eyes aligned on the face, you may need to step back and try to do some symmetry practice instead. Sometimes jumping onto a whole face with a mouth, nose, eyes, hairs, ears, you know, all that stuff, it may be a little overwhelming at first and we want to take a step back and do some basic symmetry practice, as well as possibly trying to draw only the eyes symmetrically and not on a head. And then you might want to learn how to draw eyes on the left hand side very fast and easy and eyes on the right hand side very fast and easy and then be able to try to draw them both symmetrically. This is bringing back that point of deconstruct and reconstruct, practicing pieces at a time and then putting it all together. And this is kind of where the next point comes in and the next point is the art of copying. The art of copying is essentially the same thing that painters do. You take works that you like and you essentially do studies of them or copy them in order to learn from the successes of the people that you like and look up to most. Could have just called it doing studies, but the reason why I named it the art of copying is, I don't know, it's just what I thought of when I started doing it. Because essentially there is an art to how to study learning how to break down shapes and see different shapes within bigger shapes and learning how to break down shapes of faces, there is an art to learning how to study and that's why I actually called it the art of copying. If any of you are like me, I'm actually really bad at copying and I was like, man, I can't copy at all. This is really, really hard. But the more I did it, the easier it became, just like anything else you do. What helped me most was when I was learning perspective during that time, because it allowed me to be able to break down and understand the shapes in a different sort of way, and be able to see things that I didn't see before. First, by starting to try to look at the image that I really like, and determine what perspective are they in? What perspective is that arm in? If I drew that arm in a simplified shape, what would it look like? These are the things you want to start asking about pieces you actually like and then start trying to reproduce what you like about that piece in order to learn from it. This isn't to be used in your own work, this is to be used to study from, to learn from. You want to learn from this stuff and not go off and copy someone else's work and claim it as your own. That's not what I'm saying. You should never copy someone else's work and claim it as your own. But copying other artists to learn their techniques and how they did something specific can be very beneficial in general to learn how to do what they do. It's like in this video here, there are several sketches that were studies, but I'm never going to use them for my own work. It was to further my knowledge on anatomy in general. All up, you want to learn perspective in order to understand the base to all 2D art, learn the shapes and perspective to understand it to its fullest, and then use mindful geared practice to study the art that you like most and why it works. This way, you're learning the things that are correct and not the incorrect things. Then, once you learn how to draw it correctly, all you have to do is repeat the process in order to memorize it. Alrighty guys, that about wraps it up. I hope uh, sharing my process helped you guys in some sort of way, and I uh, hope you guys can take something from it. In any case, if you want to help support this channel, help support my arts as well as get exclusive tutorials and other perks, go check out my Patreon, link in the description. But I'd like to take this time to thank my current Patreon, Ashley Elizabeth, Norman, Woody Ollis, Heke Pelage, Sam Tinley, Wear My Crown, Daniil Helier, Osu, Carlos Mario Lopez, Marcus Leif Bell Jr. You guys are the best pencil snobies there are and you help me be able to do what I do on this channel. And in any case, if you guys like my video, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel, like what you see, please subscribe, hit that bell icon to get notified when each video comes out. And like always guys, hope you're having a great day and I'll see you in the next video.